All right, my name is Jessica, and on, it all started on one dark, cold winter night. I was having trouble sleeping, and I was tossing and turning. I had a lot of things running through my mind as I gazed out upon the Baltimore city skyline. At first, I was thinking about what was happening in the news. It was all negative. And then I was also thinking about a couple close friends who were going through some really tough times in their lives. But if you looked at them, you would not know. And I thought to myself, if at some point in your life you or someone you know or someone you don't know is going through something really tough, but you just aren't aware, one act of kindness can literally change their world. So maybe we just all need to be kinder to each other. Instead of sleeping on this idea, I whipped out my laptop and got creative and I started 28 Days of Kindness with a couple friends. It's a global initiative where we challenge people to do intentional acts of kindness for 28 days straight. Now 28 sounds like a really random number and you're probably wondering why I chose it. That cold night in Baltimore was in January. The next available full month was February and February has 28 days. So now I'm thinking I'm kind of like a superhero and I'm trying to gear up to save the world. What do I need? The first thing I thought of was a website. And the second thing I thought of was a way to make kindness approachable, which is why you see those happy little characters all over my screen. The other thing I wanted to leverage was social media as a platform for accessibility and making sure people knew of all the great, very simple ideas they can do to be kind in their communities. So we staged this event to start on February 1st. I used Facebook. I create an open invitation so anybody can join and anybody can create their, um, anybody can ask their friends to join as well. We have a hashtag and we're ready to go. But how on earth do you keep people motivated for 28 days straight? So me and my friends had to contemplate how to keep people engaged, how to keep them checking in, and what's gonna allow them to be excited and share this with their friends. And then every night while I was sleeping, a hundred or more people was joining in on the 28 Days of Kindness Challenge. They were coming from all over the world and clearly were not on my original invitation list. On the morning of February 1st, 2014, I had a thousand participants globally signed up to be a part of 28 Days of Kindness. Some were so excited that they started um, early with their, with their good deeds. So I thought, it's time to put on my superhero cape. How I got people to continue posting, even if they didn't want to share what they were working on, is that we had motivational quotes, fun pictures with the cute monsters, and different ideas that they could share with their friends. And then the good deeds started to pour in. And I mean, they were pouring in from everywhere. But here's the cool thing. If you were on this through social media, then your news feed started to change. No longer were you seeing uh, so much of the bad things that were happening in the world. Instead, you were seeing people in your community and in communities across the globe taking the stand and being the change that they want to see in the world. This is my theory. Most dictionaries define the world as the earth or a part of it with its inhabitants and affairs during a particular period of time. Everyone's perspective of the world is different. So if all you're seeing is reality television, fear-based news, and the latest Hollywood runaround, it's safe to say that you and I are living in different worlds. It's also safe to say that you are not experiencing your own world that you live in. Shifting your focus and adjusting what you see will change your world. Becoming more aware of what good you can do and the role that you play in your community will not just change your world, but also the worlds of those around you. 28 Days of Kindness is a project that cleverly shifts your focus. It makes you more aware of your present moment because remember, you have to look for the opportunity to be kind. It gives you the power to create the change that you want to see. Some folks were sad to see this event end, so we did it again this year, and I had 1,500 people sign up. We also have a Facebook group of official daymakers who do this year round. So, just to be clear, one good deed and 28 days can save the world, and also, maybe it's about time that you become your own superhero. Thank you.